but you've probably heard of TPN or total parenteral nutrition, but do you actually know what's inside this bag and why it's such a big deal for nurses? TPN provides all essential nutrients through an IV when the patient's GI tract can't be used. It's made up of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, electrolytes, vitamins, and minerals. And these are actually customized daily by pharmacy based on lab results. It's delivered through a central line, usually a pick or sub cleaving catheter because the solution is hypertonic and it can cause phlebitis or tissue damage if it's given peripherally. Now, as nurses, our rule here is huge. Here are a few points I want you to remember. Inspect the solution for clarity and expiration before hanging it. At some facilities, you may actually need a second nurse just to confirm everything with you before you administer this. Use a dedicated lumen for TPN only. So we aren't doing any kind of piggybacking medications off of this. Always run it on a pump with a filter to prevent air or particulate emboli. Never abruptly stop TPN infusions. You wanna taper it down to prevent any kind of rebound hypoglycemia. And of course, monitor blood glucose, electrolytes, liver function, and daily weights closely. And a reminder that you want to watch for infection at the central line site, since high glucose is a perfect medium for bacteria. Also look out for fluid overload, electrolyte imbalances, or TPN-related liver dysfunction if it's used long-term. If a new bag isn't ready when the current one runs out, you can hang 10% dextrose to keep blood sugar stable until pharmacy delivers the next bag. And again, this may may depend on your hospital's policy. If you comment TPN down below on my Instagram comments, I will send you a free study guide covering all things you need to know about TPN and handling it as a nurse.